Here's how to get the most out of the free password manager, included on every iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. I probably am not the first person to tell you this, but I will say it again for good measure. You need to be using strong passwords. You shouldn't be reusing passwords and for the life of everything, you need to be using a password manager to keep track of it all. Don't be writing it down on a sticky note and putting it on your monitor. Use a password manager. Many people use third-party password managers, like 1Password, which recently launched 1Password 8, but there's also LastPass and many others out there. But Apple also includes a free one on every iPhone, iPad, and Mac out there. Here is how you can get the most out of the free password manager included on all of your Apple devices. So let's go ahead and check it out, both on iPhone and on the Mac. In this demo, I'm going to be walking you through using my iPhone, but everything here on the iPhone works on the iPad as well. So if you see me doing something here on the iPhone, but you want to do it on the iPad, it'll work the exact same way, just with a slightly larger interface. Apple's password manager is great for a bunch of things. It can help you automatically save and enter passwords on a variety of different websites, browsers, and even within applications. On top of that, it can help suggest very strong passwords that are harder to crack and unique to each application. It's super handy, but it doesn't have its own application, which means it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to find or understand how it works. So let's go ahead and take a look at the password manager. As I said, there is no dedicated app and instead it lives within settings. So if I go ahead and open the settings app on my phone, I can scroll down and tap on passwords. Whenever you do go into the passwords part of settings, you will need to authenticate again just to make sure that it is you. Face ID will work or you can enter in your passcode. Now, aside from just getting there from settings, there are other ways you can do it too. For example, you can actually use Siri. So if I invoke Siri, open my passwords. Just like that, Siri will open the passwords here on my iPhone. Lastly, you can use Spotlight Search. Simply pull down anywhere on the screen to review that search bar at the top, and we're gonna go ahead and type in, I'm gonna spell things terribly wrong, but I can type in passwords, and you'll see that setting icons right next to it. And tapping that, you guessed it, will take you again to the password section of the settings app. Once you are into the password manager hidden inside of the settings app, you're gonna see everything that you need. That's probably the biggest part about this video is how to access your passwords. You can search there from the top, so you can search for a website or a note or anything else that you've made on there, a username, an email. You can use all of that to search and filter through your saved passwords. You can tap on the plus icon to manually go ahead and add a new password, so I tap on that. I can add the website, username, and password. You can also edit. If I tap on edit, it gives me the option to bulk edit and change all the different passwords that are in here. So if I selected multiple, I can go ahead and delete them all at once. Very handy for bulk deletions. Go ahead and hit cancel there in the top right hand corner. So security recommendations. This will alert you of security risks that are found. This could be passwords that are reused across your various accounts, or it could be ones that have vulnerabilities or have been found in leaked databases. So Apple will prompt you to automatically change those passwords so you don't have your account compromised. You can jump into there, you can see the alert on each of them, and Apple will even help you change those passwords if they need to be changed. Let's go ahead and dive into one of my passwords. How about this Apple right here at the top? I can see the website, so it's for Apple. I can see the username associated with, and the password has been grayed out. If I go ahead and tap on it, I can reveal the password, and I can quickly copy it. So there are times when you may need to copy those credentials out and input them manually, such as if Apple's password manager extension isn't supported. Below that, I have options to add notes, set up a verification code, or change that password directly on the website. If I go ahead and hit edit up there in the top corner, it allows me to add those notes. You can also tap the add notes button without having to hit edit. Notes are really handy and there's a lot of different uses for them. Maybe it's just something that you need to remember about that login, 
or it could be to make things easier to remember or search for. For example, maybe instead of looking up ADP, you could put in notes for electric company. So when you go to pay your monthly bills, you know just that you can search for electric and you don't need to think of what was the provider of the electric. I can't remember who I'm paying, which, which utility that is. You can just put electric and it'll find it. So there's really useful ways to add notes to make searching through your passwords and logins a whole lot easier. We can go ahead and hit cancel to get out of that. But that is everything you need to know here about passwords on the iPhone. Whenever you do visit any of these websites and you go to enter your password, it'll automatically pop up on the bottom of the screen and allow you to add those credentials. But of course, it's gonna make you authenticate first. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at all this again over on the Mac. The Mac and its password manager are very similar, but it also can be a little more confusing. Apple historically has used keychain access to store credentials, but Apple has since relocated most of its password manager into system preferences, similar to how passwords are saved in settings on iPhone and iPad. So if you go up to the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, go to system preferences, you can then click on password to gain access to your password manager. From there, you'll of course have to authenticate before viewing any of those credentials. You can search just like you can on iPhone and iPad, and you also have the option at the bottom to import or export all of your passwords. Very easy if you're migrating between various password managers. So that's it. Apple's password manager is a little bare bones and it isn't as full featured as the likes of LastPass or 1Password, but it's free and included on all of your devices. It also syncs across all of your devices via iCloud. So as I make a change here on my iPhone, it'll sync over to my iPad and my Mac as well. Super handy without any additional cost. Let me know what you guys think. What is your password manager of choice? Do you pay for something premium like 1Password or LastPass or do you prefer to use Apple's built-in password manager? Let me know in the comments or over Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you wanna learn more about password managers, there's a link to my Apple Insider article down below in the description.